Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm in Anderson today looking at a little house to be included in our next online auction. The address is 404 Lee Street, two bedrooms, one and a half baths, nice den with fireplace, another family room, little galley kitchen. Why don't we head inside, take a look. I think this is gonna be a good one. Okay, I'm inside here at uh, 404. And this typical house we might sell, you know, just some paint flooring and make it look a little better. This house uh, in this room is wallpaper. So you might want to pull it off. But the ceiling looks to be in good shape. And the wallpapers, not bad in this room. Probably take it down, look like a smoker might have been here do that uh, staining where that photo on the wall and you know the carpet might clean up according to what you're going to use the house for. All right let's step over here. This is our little den dining area off the kitchen. You can call it either one. It does have a fireplace and this one has a wood burning stove. Again we have the wallpaper, uh, flooring, Except for a couple of tiles there, it looks pretty good. It looks like there was something there that caused it to wear, that little white spot. Maybe you put a rug over it and not have to change it out. It's your back door. Ceiling looks good in here, maybe a coat of paint. And a piece of trim around that door. I think they had a break in at one time, and we do have the alarm on. This is our laundry right off of this room. It's a step down level with a carport and on the other side of that wall there is a utility room um, off the carport and your washer dryer hook up. All right, I'm going to turn to the right. This is our kitchen, a little galley kitchen, lots of cabinets and countertops. Looks pretty nice. I'm going to leave these appliances here. Not sure if they're good or not. And there's a little place in the ceiling here. I'm not sure whether that's a vent that caused that little leak. We've had rain. It doesn't look like it's getting worse on the outside or possibly the gutter stopped up. Another look at the den here from the other side. All right, let's go down the hall. This is the main hallway of the house. Um, they made that living room quite large. I'm not sure that you couldn't add a bedroom somehow using that space. Because this house is big enough to be a uh, three bedroom. On the left hand side, this is our bath. Pretty nice looking shower. The wallpaper starting to come off the wall in these back rooms. Nice little vanity here, cabinet, sink, all matches, toilet and everything. Doesn't look to be in too bad a shape. All right, I'm going to turn uh, next room here. This is a bedroom. Um, it's on the back right hand side of the house. And you will notice the wallpaper is just about off the wall. So they've already done some work. This plywood was in here. They had it between their mattress and their box screen. Another view from over here. Uh, carpet back here, probably you'll do something else with it. And the ceiling doesn't look bad. We only had that one little place in the kitchen. I think it's around a vent on the roof that may have caused that. It just rained crazy and it's not wet right now. It doesn't appear to be. But you need to check it out. This is our second bedroom. It's quite large. I'm not sure. Some reconfiguration here might would help to make a third bedroom out of this house without a lot of work. It just seems like it has a space for it. 
again wallpaper in here probably need to come off see that looks good probably gonna do something else about a carpet and then we have a little half bath off this room which is pretty nice a uh, little popcorn peeling off up there but nothing serious I encourage you to come out and look at this house so let's head uh, let's head out in the yard okay um, back out in front of the house as you'll see as we walk around most of it is brick there's a little vinyl there you know just give it some contrast nice little porch driveway here single car carport pretty nice shrubbery probably could stand a little trimming and that's down the right hand side so we'll head back up the other end I can't get through the gate there here we are on the other end um, I'm hunting a title for that Cadillac I think we'll sell it to separate I'm gonna call it a carport find hadn't been driven got a little ding or two in it nice brick all trimmed out in vinyl here we have a fence backyard but I do not see the gate and probably need to clean these gutters in the worst way I'm looking here there's a vent above that kitchen window and another fan vent probably for the uh, stove that could be a source of that water I noticed the vinyl sagging a little bit there but a nice little place one house next door and in the church and doesn't look like anything's behind us so pretty nice little house here Anderson South Carolina it sells regardless of price so be a generous bidder all right that's gonna wrap me up here at uh, 404 Lee Street Anderson South Carolina just a couple of things I want to mention before I leave read your contract package it's under the document section of the internet it tells you uh, about your deposit on the day of the auction how fast we can close any title issues or we we'll talk about all that in there it'll also um, tell you about the buyer's premium that we charge on top of your bid so read that real careful make sure you understand it if you need some help after that and you need some clarification give us a call our numbers at the bottom of the screen we'll be glad to help you or you can send us an email at info at terryhow.com it will be answered where our uh, job is to help you make this a smooth transaction we're doing it settling a state selling this house and they want to uh, turn this house to cash so they can divide the money all right and one more tip it's if you're a first-time bidder and you've never bid with us before bid early in the process if you wait about five minutes before that auction ends and trying to register and then put the information in wrong then the computer won't allow you to bid and then you'll be all upset and our phones are busy and we can't help you so bid early in the process it lasts 10 or 14 days somewhere in there and you can bid later at the end if you want to but just make sure it works early all right i'm gonna move along to the next auction i hope you found the uh video helpful i hope and encourage you to come out and look at this house on the inspection i certainly don't see everything but i try to give you an idea of what to uh, expect to see when you get here one more time online only nobody here at the premises to take your bid the place to bid and buy is terryhow.com